Uh, ladies and gentlemen, for those who've been watching on YouTube, what ended up happening was about 10, 15 minutes ago, my cat Jasper knocked the keyboard off of the edge of my couch. And when he did that, it stopped recording for YouTube. Now, I didn't realize this until now. So I think you guys missed out on about like 20 or more minutes of content on the stream. And I apologize for that because I didn't know that was happening. That's what happens when you have a pet that, uh, you know, gets involved. Uh, he accidentally turned off the recording. I had no clue. So I apologize for that. I'm still streaming for about another 10 to 15 minutes here tonight. So there's still a little bit of content left. But I apologize for, for you know, you guys missing out on content of stuff that I was doing. Essentially, all I'm doing now, I'm trying to prepare my farm and <clears throat> expand it a little bit. What the fuck? I grabbed water and got sucked onto Humper's back at the same time with one button input. That was interesting. Um... But yeah, what I've been doing is uh, working on my farm over here to expand it. And as I was doing that, we were interacting and talking about various different things. Someone named Hint Hint tipped a dollar, $10 and one cent, saying that if they win tonight as the top contributor, they want an empty chest named Hint Hint set up in the game for them. I don't know what the hell that means, but sounds good. Um, Beepo tipped me a dollar. Says you could probably find a Skillshare class on music mixing to make your own music. They have tons of classes on there. You assume, incorrectly, that I have time to learn how to do that. <laughs> uh, I don't have any time for any of that. I stream full time, and outside of the time that I'm streaming, I have a full life of tons of shit that I do and responsibilities and spending time with my family and wife. I don't have time to sit around and learn how to do music remixes. Maybe at one point, you know, when I was younger, I did, before I had a life. But now that I have a life, I don't have time for that anymore. So... Appreciate you, you know, I know you're trying to be helpful, but that is not viable for me. Sorry. <clears throat> okay. So thank you, Beepo, for the dollar tip. I appreciate that. All right. So, heading over here. Could it be a detractor meme? I mean, it could be, but hey, if the person contributed, they contributed. Oh, here's what happened. I didn't finish using the hoe. Now that the water's here, I can till the land properly. See that? The hell are you looking at? One, two, three, four. There we go. There we go. Big ass amount of farmland. Look at that. Chill that farmland, son. Slippery man just tipped me ten dollars and two cents. He says, build an erect penis out of cobble, pointing at the portal. Sign will say, ho 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 ho. Mmm. He 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 he. So that's basically Beavis and Butthead. He wants me to make an erect penis out of cobblestone pointing at the portal with a Beavis and Butthead boy yo yo joke. And that's going to be what we do if that remains the top contribution of the night. Oh, my God. Oh, man. All right, well. All right, slippery man. Indeed, I guess. And he, bought, he won top contribution by a whopping penny, by the way. <laughs> okay. Yes, that did beat Hint Hint, that anonymous. That is currently the top the top contributor of the night is Slippery Man. So unless someone beats him in the next 10 to 15 minutes that I'm streaming, that's what we're doing. We're doing a giant erect cobblestone penis pointing towards the portal. <sighs> what the fuck? What? Anyway, um, sugar cane. Oh, I guess not. See, I don't know how to plant sugar cane. I think you have to plant it in water. No, there's some way to plant sugar cane, and I don't know how, it, how to do it. I can't remember. There's some fancy way you have to do it, and I don't know what it is. Excuse me.
No! I wanted the plant, not eat. All right, I gotta go see if I got anything else to plant here. Now, by the way, Mr. Papa Vera suggested other things. He says what you can do is you can put cobblestone blocks outside of the edges of your farm and put more, um, put more light on it so it'll be protected from enemies and stuff, and it helps it light even better and grows even faster. And he even suggested building like cobblestone columns in certain parts. Like he has this real elaborate setup. What I did today is the basis of the farm and we can be way more complex next time when I when we continue this but I'm just setting up the very basis of the farm at this point okay um I don't even have the torches I need to go get a torch torches two torches and see if I have anything else I can plant here <clears throat> me go line of water and plant the sugar cane right next to the water is that how it works Fat Mr. Bo says you can see, if you look faintly you can see a black line where you plant a block yeah see there it is see the black line you're right, but I don't understand how to make a block float. That's what I'm trying to, like, figure out and master. How do you place a block expertly floating? And I never really figured that out. Okay. Now, I have pumpkin seeds, but I, I guess I'll grab them. I don't understand how to plant pumpkins properly either. It was Papa Vera who originally explained that to me. So I might need to wait for him to come back to explain that. There's some seeds I can plant right there. You know, can I plant, um, see, this is considered sweet berries. Can I plant those and then harvest them later? Because I want to have, like, that growing around the town, but I don't know if you can reproduce it in a garden, like a plant, or if that's not how it works. I don't know. Does anyone know how the sweet berries work? To see if anyone says anything in chat. I don't understand how it works. I'd like to plant that. Oh, here's more seeds. I'd definitely like to plant it. If I could, but I don't know how these sweet berries work. Are the berries grown on vines? I don't believe so. Here's some more seeds. I don't believe so. Oh, I got pumpkins! I didn't know I had pumpkins. Oh, that's right. You don't plant the pumpkins. You plant the pumpkin seeds. I have the pumpkin seeds. Oh, I have more beetroot seeds to plant. Oh, shit. I didn't know I had that much. Okay. So I can plant this stuff, and if I could figure out how to plant the, uh... How to plant these sweet berries, I could do that, too. Plant the berries, then harvest the berries from the bush. So I should just... I could just plant those anywhere, then? Sand for sugar cane? Is that true? You need sand to do the sugar cane? I don't see I didn't know that. Um what I need are torches. There we go. Okay. Yeah, Jasper, I don't know how comfy it is for you to lay over there on those those wires, dude. He's laying down on the wires again. You know what I think it is? It's because they're warm, but I'm afraid they're gonna shock him. I hope they don't. <laughs> you would think that that they don't shock considering they've been on the floor for years and I never had a fire or anything in here, but <laughs> I don't know. Plant berries in grass. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Plant them like over here. Like this. And then harvest them once they grow is what you're saying. <clears throat> Meat Pistol Meltdown said, plant those berry bushes under the balls of the cobble penis that I'll be making. <sighs> we got about five to ten minutes left. I hope I'm not making a cobble penis. I hope someone beats this contribution. But hey, I guess we'll see. <laughs> I guess we'll see. <clears throat> oh shit. I took a dip. All right, I don't know how to do the pumpkin. I don't remember. See, I have, I have... If I plant a pumpkin seed here, do I need to leave space for the vine? Do I have to do it like every other? Isn't that how it works? Like you have to do every other spot like this, and then the vine grows next to it, I believe? I guess we're going to find out because I'm trying it, right? 
I think that's how it works. And then we got beetroot. Okay. Alright, it's time to sleep. Then I gotta set up the blocks and I gotta set up the uh, the torches. The same as the watermelons. Yeah, but I don't know how the watermelons work. <laughs> Have I played the Age of Empires series? Yes, I played Age of Empires 1, 2, and 3 on PC back in the day and I love that series. But I haven't played it in like 20 years so I don't know if I would like it today. Um, Alright, <clears throat> we gotta set up the blocks and the light. I did it with relative ease. Okay. Have I ever played Farming Simulator? No, I have not. Never. This is, it sounds like. Oh, no! Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh. Epic fail, dude. I gotta get more water. I didn't mean to do that. Total, um, I was too. I touched it by accident. I was like, Bloop, I touched the trigger, and that was the end of that. I screwed it all up, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize. Okay. Looks like they're back to their humping ways again. I don't know what's going on with those animals. What? I'm going to go overtime to bait a new winner? No, I'm not. I, like I said, I'm just going to finish up what I'm doing in this farm and that's it. So if someone actually wants to beat a uh, slippery man and not make me have to make a giant penis with noises of Beavis saying, you know, boner or whatever, uh, it would be appreciated. But so far, I don't know what's going to happen here. Did it. Whoa! Ozymandias just tipped me $35. I said, if this wins, please put this quote on your tallest structure. My name is Ozymandias, king of kings. Look on my works, ye mighty, and despair. There you go. $35 from Ozymandias. Boom. So much for the rock penis. I guess that's not happening. All right. I think it's up to eighty-five dollars in tips tonight. Thank you guys so much for the support. Much appreciated. Hey, say what's going on, man? He just cheers. I just beat Mega Man Eleven on the Switch. Great game. Though the ending was a tad lackluster compared to previous Mega Man games. I agree, but I think that it was an outstanding game. Celebratory bottle crunch. Oh, I'm sorry, Jasper. That made him flinch. He was like, "Huh?" He didn't know what that was. Okay. So. There you go. Um, so the one thing that that uh, Papa Vera suggested, a couple things with this farm, and I only we're gonna have a chance to do them tonight. But what he suggested is that in the center of the farm, I place four blocks that are like rock blocks, cobblestone, instead of plants. And he says put torches on top of those for extra lighting, and it helps light during the nighttime. Yeah, and he also suggested on the outskirts. So, for example, right here, okay, but since it's already there, we'll do this, okay? And then he suggested what would have been right here, okay? You've got to be kidding me. Oh my god, guys. I'll tell you something. I just got another contribution. You'll never believe it. Alright? Hold on. Oh my god. I can't believe this. <laughs> I can't believe this. Alright, hold on. Let me set up this lighting for Papa Vera's suggestion. These Minecraft streams are getting out of control, everybody. What is happening? What the holy hell is happening right now? Okay. Okay. 
So essentially what Papavera said is this setup gives it ideal lighting, but what I have to do is sacrifice four crops in the center. Yeah, I have to sacrifice four central crops. Okay, and do this. And now, apparently, this is absolutely perfect lighting for growing crops. Okay. There's now enough light to cover every, like, like every piece of the farm. Actually, no, I, I did that wrong. No, no. Yeah, I did do that wrong because there needs to be ones on the edge here. I didn't do the one on the edge here. Now it's perfect. See that? So it's perfectly spaced out. So there's a, there's lighting at all times. So essentially, these crops will always grow now because there's lighting everywhere. And enemies won't come over here because there's there's enough uh, you know light to encompass the entirety of the farm. So you never have to worry about enemies wandering onto your farm or spawning in your farm. Which is cool, I guess, right? <clears throat> All right, so I guess that's cool. We're going to see if those pumpkins grow. All right. Now, Cry Baby, what the hell is going on? Cry Baby Man Gaming tipped me $36 to beat Ozymandias and said, "Nope, we're going to go with the cobble penis idea." All right, so you add 36 to 85, and that's, oh my god, that's 11, 8, hold on, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's $121 in total tips tonight, but then Hint Hint tipped $36.01 and said, no, we're go I want my chest. So Hint Hint is the current top tipper, $36.01. And he wants the empty chest that says hint hint on it. So 36 plus 21 would be 157. Wait a minute. You've got to be kidding me. Ozyma Ozymandias just tipped $36.02 and says, Come on, man. I even tipped $35 to reference Ozymandias' iconic line from Watchmen. Remember, Phil, my name was Ozaman Dias, King of Kings. Look on my works, ye mighty and despair. It's poetic. So, now, <laughs> now Ozamandius is the top tipper. And he wants me to, to put that quote on the top of the highest point in the game. So that's $36.02. And two cents. So now you're at 36 to 157. That's 193. Holy shit. Thank you guys for the support tonight. Oh my god. Well, the competition is is hot, fierce, fast and furious. <laughs> first we were going to get an empty ch first we were going to get some random stuff for Rumble Still skins. Then we were going to get an empty chest that said hint hint. Then we were going to get a giant stone boner. And now it looks like we're going to get an Ozymandias quote. Okay? Now, if we're going to get an Ozymandias quote, the question is what is the highest point? I would say in this village. Okay? The highest point would be one of the corner towers, but if you want the highest point that I've created in the game, all right, that would be, I believe, the lighthouse at my original settlement is super high up. I'm pretty sure that's higher than the giant redwood tree that I grew. So it would either be um, the tallest, the tallest structure would be either the lighthouse or the tree. I'm not sure. What I would have to do is go back to my home base and actually take a look. I think the lighthouse is the tallest thing. Um, I do. I think the lighthouse is the tallest thing. So I guess what we'll be doing next time around when I play... Uh, when, when we play Minecraft again next week, because now this, you know, this session is about to end. When we play Minecraft again next week, 
It'll be uh, me going back to the original settlement and finding out if either the tree or the lighthouse is taller. I think it's the lighthouse. Going to the very top of the lighthouse and putting a sign that says, My name is Ozaman Dyes, King of Kings. Look at my works, you mighty in despair. I may need to get multiple signs to do that. I may need like two or three signs. Um, <clears throat> but there we go. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, holy crap. So very productive night. First, wait a minute. Oh, no. <laughs> Someone named mm -hmm just sent me $37 and says, boy, oing, 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 which obviously implies that they want me to do the fucking stone penis idea. First of all, let me go sleep. Let me go sleep. And then I'm going to update the leaderboard. And then we're going to figure this out. So what did they want? They wanted a stone penis pointing at the portal back at my old, my original base that says, like, boy oing 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 I guess what they want. Like, the, 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 uh, the, uh, the Beavis and Butthead reference. boy oing 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 Oh, my God. All right. Let's update the leaderboard. <laughs> what the fuck? So. Mm-hmm. Just did a $37 tip. With 37 plus 139, that would be 230 Wow, $230 in tips. Thank you very much, everyone. Awesome night tonight, obviously. Um, <clears throat> so. Is that it? Now, people are saying I shouldn't allow any other tips, but I didn't say the stream was over yet. I didn't. Um, what I wanted to do was... Oh, shit. Very briefly, I wanted to recap what we did tonight. So, what did we do? The first thing we did <clears throat> is we built the gravestone for the top contributor last week. And that gravestone has a really awesome vantage point right out here. If I could find it here. It's right near the back door. Right? No, this is the wrong door. That's the fr that's the other door. It's right out here. This direction. It's actually from the view of... Ozymandias! Just did a $38.01 tip! Oh my god. So anyway... <laughs> I'm walking over my own crops. There's the gravestone right there from last week's top contribution. Sitting right there in honor of the bottom line is. We built this cool farm thanks to the help of Mr. Papavera. It's only the initial stages. I believe he has a stage two to this where he explains more advanced tactics. In fact, maybe even making like a second floor of a farm. We'll look into that next time because I still have that saved here on my phone. But this is the very first stage of a, of a farm. Cool. We also have the components to try to start making librarians, but I didn't do that. I didn't have time to do that this week. Next time around, we may look into that, and maybe next time Papa Vera will actually be here. I do want to give Papa Vera a huge shout-out, because obviously he made this possible tonight, and it's really cool that we're getting some cool stuff done here in the village, okay? Um, so Ozymandias did a $38.01 tip. Ozymandias. So that gets us up to 268. Holy shit. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, thank you. Very much appreciated tonight. Thank you so much, everybody, for your contributions. Holy crap. All right. So, it looks like next week what we'll be doing is, number one, seeing what Mr. Papavera's ideas are for the second half of the farm and see if he's here. Also take a look at possibly doing the librarian stuff, but... Since it looks like now Ozymandias is the top contributor of the week, uh, we will be going to the top structure, which I believe is the lighthouse, and we'll be saying that big quote, My name is Ozymandias, King of Kings. Look on my works, ye mighty, and despair. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for a very awesome stream of Minecraft this week. Thank you very much for all of the support. Pretty amazing. That is it. No more contributions tonight. Thank you, everyone. Ozymandias wins. Uh... After quite the war there. That was quite a war, but he won. So Ozymandias, we'll get that in there next week. All right. Thanks, everyone, for a great night of Minecraft.